Okay, now rest. At least for now. Put down your concerns, your beliefs, your sense of need. your sense of you, your sense of the whole world. Gently allow yourself to receive the truth. And that truth is oneness. Throughout every scripture of the world and of the ages, you hear the truth that only God is. In any way it's stated, it comes down to only God is. I am the Lord and besides me there is none else. Throughout scripture we also hear, again in many different ways, but the same truth that I and the Father are one. This self, this being, I am, inclusive of the entirety of its experience is one with God, truth. I am that I am. Son, daughter, I am ever with you. 
with any aspect of you you can name or experience. I am there with you, with that aspect, with that experience, no matter what it is in your sense. I am ever with you, and all that I have is yours. All that this aspect seems to be is full of me. Despite what it seems to be, it actually is full of me. And because I have no inner versus outer, I'm not inside that aspect of experience somewhere. I'm all of it. I am its inside, its shell, its skin, its form, its seeming body, and I am outside of it. I am all. Therefore, what is that aspect? What is that experience? What is that form? What is that amount? What is that place or condition? Me. All of it is me. God. Don't judge by appearance. If you judge by appearance, if you believe the way something, anything, any condition, any amount, any aspect of experience, to be something of its own self, lacking truth, at least for this moment, limited in truth, in wholeness, in life, in love, in plenty, in perfection, then you judge amiss. And if you're judging amiss, you will ask amiss. You will pray amiss. You will meditate amiss. You will know amiss.
seek oneness. Seek the awareness that all is oneness. The one. No matter what human understanding deems anything of experience or being to be, do not believe that which you believe anything to be. Believe truth. Believe Solomon. Believe Jesus. Believe Buddha. Believe Lao Tzu. Believe Shankara. Believe Rumi. Believe Meister Eckhart. We could go on, but if we wish to come into the awareness of truth, We should really listen to those who have found truth and no one else. God is the only. And so anything of experience, anything of life, anything of being is in fact, in truth, here and now, in reality, God and the fullness of God. Therefore, everything of life, of being, of experience, of form, everything is the infinite itself, the omnipresence itself, the life, itself, the eternity itself, the God itself, the truth, the spirit itself. There is no exception. And so realize this. God is all. And in God is no death whatsoever, no darkness whatsoever, no lack of any of God whatsoever, no limit of any of God whatsoever.
when we are being God consciousness. Which means we have no matter in us whatsoever. And that in turn means that we do not believe in matter being anything of its own self. That entire belief in matter as being real, as being an entity, as being something we have to deal with, is gone. And we are the living presence of God alone. We haven't got anywhere to put God. We do not have anything that needs God. Whether right here in our sense of body or over there in our home or family or over there in our business or bank account, in our wallet or our world or universe, anywhere at all, we have nowhere that needs God because we have nothing but God as our living presence, our living being, our living consciousness. When we are God consciousness in this way, then the whole of God is indeed visible, tangible, demonstrated already, the finished kingdom, fully demonstrated and finished, manifested, clear, bright, real. But if we still have God and matter, none of God is visible. None. None of truth is visible. None of the freedom of matter, of materiality, of experience is visible, is tangible to us. And we'll forever struggle. But as God consciousness, we have God as all. God as being, God as mind, God as thought, God as our senses and God as our objective experience.
in everything, as everything. Everywhere, every step, every thought, every hymn, her it. Throughout every hour, realize that what you are observing or experiencing somehow is, in fact, despite appearance, God. The whole of the infinite. The whole of omnipresence. Oneness. And because God is fully manifest and manifested, demonstrated, visible, tangible, the one presence, the one body, then the whole of life, the whole of abundance, the whole of love, relationship, the whole of expression, activity, enterprise, perfect, full, fulfilled, eternal, already exists as and at that very place of observation or experience. And so rest. Seek only that, only oneness, just in the way we've heard this minute. Realize only that, yes, just in the way we've heard this minute. And then rest. You need not make any other effort. You need not achieve anything else other than that living awareness or realization. You can rest at night and you can rest during the day as you realize God as all. with nothing to achieve but everything already achieved, with nothing to demonstrate but everything already demonstrated, with nothing to bring here but everything already here. Rest. Rest in truth. Don't tell yourself that much of God is invisible. Nothing of God is invisible, but if you turn away from God, then of course you can't see it, you can't experience it. But if you're in God, if you're being God, then all of God is perfectly visible and tangible and witnessed as already demonstrated and manifested at and as every step you take, every place, every activity, Don't wish for more visible God than this step requires. That's called gluttony. Why would you wish for more than this step requires? Why would you wish for more life than this breath takes. Why would you wish for next hour's life now, in this hour, any more than you would wish for tomorrow's food today or tomorrow's dollars today? Why? That would be like wishing for tomorrow's gravity today or tomorrow's oxygen today. The whole of God is at every breath and is that breath itself. The whole of God is at every step and all the forms of experience of that step and is that step itself 
and the forms of that step and the experience of the forms itself. Why would you wish for more? The only reason you would wish for more is if you are still disbelieving that the whole of God is every breath, every step, all form and all experience. When you know the truth that God is all, then you have the freedom of the infinite. You have the freedom of omnipresence. Never again needing to store the forms of it up for tomorrow. Thank you.